To ensure your safety, turn off the power switch and unplug the power cord from its electrical outlet in these situations. While sewing, keep an eye on the needle and keep hands away from all the moving parts. In case foot controller is used, turn off the power switch. Insert the foot controller plug into the foot controller jack. Insert cord connector into machine socket inlet. Insert plug into socket outlet. Turn on the power switch. When pressing start stop button, the machine starts to sew and then gets up to the speed set by the speed controller. When pressing this button again, the machine stops. The color of the button indicates machine status. To run the machine, press the foot controller. The harder you press, the faster the machine sews. The speed controller will set the maximum sewing speed. While pressing the reverse stitch button, the machine sews reverse stitch or reinforcement stitch. When the start stop button is used, while it is pressed, the machine will sew reverse, and when it is released, the machine will stop sewing reverse. When the foot controller is used, the machine will sew reverse at almost the same speed as the normal sewing. When the reverse stitch button is released, the machine sews forward again. In one point pattern letters mode, the machine sews reinforcement stitch and stops. When the lock stitch button is pressed, the machine sews reinforcement stitch. If this button is pressed during sewing, the machine sews one cycle of pattern and reinforcement stitch, then stops. In one cycle sewing, the start stop button indicates orange. While sewing, the speed can be adjusted by the speed controller. After sewing, press the thread trimming button to trim both threads automatically. When the machine stops, press the needle up-down button to change the needle position. When the needle is up, the needle moves down and vice versa. When the button is pressed continuously, the machine sews stitch by stitch at low speed. When the machine stops, press the presser foot auto lift button to change the presser foot position. When the presser foot is up, the presser foot moves down and vice versa. You can select the function of the heel side switch of the foot controller. Reverse stitch is set as default. The function is changed by option mode. When turning on the machine, 
The straight stitch of the center needle position is chosen automatically. On the LCD screen, you will see the selected stitch pattern and the marking of the presser foot to be used. Pattern selection mode can be changed by pattern selection mode switching button. To select direct patterns, push the direct select button and check the stitch pattern in this position and select. To select other patterns, push select by number button and choose stitch pattern type. Select the stitch pattern by number. To select one point patterns and letters, push one point letter selection button and choose stitch pattern or letter type. Check the number or letters and select. The stitch patterns are the same as the quilt, decorative patterns. When you choose your desired stitch pattern, the machine automatically displays the standard stitch width and stitch length. To adjust these settings manually, use the zigzag width and stitch length adjusting buttons located below the screen. Pushing minus, displayed value becomes smaller and the zigzag width becomes smaller accordingly. Pushing plus, the displayed value becomes larger and the zigzag width becomes larger accordingly. Pushing minus, the displayed value becomes smaller and the stitch length becomes smaller accordingly. Pushing plus, the displayed value becomes larger and the stitch length becomes larger accordingly. The needle hole can be changed from standard hole to straight stitch hole without changing the throat plate. When starting to sew from the edge of the fabric, change the needle hole for straight stitch. This will be easier as the material doesn't go into the needle hole. Raise the needle and presser foot. Remove the hook cover. The needle hole can be changed by switching the lever. Pushing the lever lightly, move it to the left position for the straight stitch hole. Pushing the lever lightly, move it to the right position for the standard stitch hole. When a stitch pattern other than straight stitches is selected, the needle hole for straight stitch cannot be used. If you press the select by number button after changing the needle hole for the straight stitch, the display shows the available stitch patterns. Press the selection button and then confirmation button to select the stitch pattern. The presser foot automatically lifts a little when sewing is stopped. The presser foot lowers automatically when sewing again. The presser foot can be up or down position by using the presser foot lifting lever. This extra lift position is used to put heavy materials underneath the presser foot. With the knee lifting lever, you are able to control the position of the presser foot without using your hands. Insert the knee lifting lever so that concave and convex meet. Push the lever to the right hand side to lift the presser foot. The presser foot is lowered when the lever goes back to the original position. 
turn off the power before replacing the presser foot. Raise the needle and presser foot. Press the presser foot releasing button to remove the presser foot. Align the pin of the presser foot and the groove in the presser foot holder. Then, lower the presser foot holder with the presser foot lifting lever. To remove the presser foot holder, loosen the set screw to the left and remove it. To install the presser foot holder, align the screw hole at the presser bar with the hole of the presser foot holder. Tighten the set screw firmly by turning it to the right side. If the machine is set to auto, it is suitable for most fabrics. However, adjustment may be necessary according to fabrics and sewing applications. When the thread tension is well balanced, needle and bobbin threads interlace with each other at the middle of the fabric thickness. When the needle thread is too strong, the bobbin thread will be pulled to the front side of the fabric. Turn the thread tension adjustment dial towards minus. When the needle thread is too weak, the needle thread will be pulled to the wrong side of the fabric. Turn the thread tension adjustment dial towards plus. Turn the presser foot pressure adjustment dial to set the proper pressure. When sewing in general, set the presser foot pressure adjustment dial to 5. When sewing on light synthetic fabrics, stretchy fabrics, applique which seam allowance is overlapped, etc., lower the number on the presser foot pressure adjustment dial. Move the drop feed knob to the right hand side in case the feed dog is in the down position for free motion quilting, button sewing, etc. Move the drop feed knob to the left hand side after sewing. The feed dog will be engaged automatically when the machine starts to sew. Remove auxiliary bed. Open legs of wide table until they stop securely at the stopping position. Assemble wide table to sewing machine body. Attach it to free arm of sewing machine. Adjust the height of legs so that the top surface of wide table is the same height of sewing machine body.